don't understand it Girl, you're making it hard for me Girl, you're making it hard for me Girl, you're making it hard for me Pussy uh. tastes like Skittles, what? If you guys are new to the channel, if you've never seen me before, my name is Kevin. I live in Florida. I own this 370Z Nismo. <laughs> and I make videos of my life. I don't know, random stuff. Car videos, which I try because I'm a noob. And gym videos, which I'm better than all of them. Uh, which is better than all of them because I actually work out and love working out. But I uh, kind of want to make a video of how I got this car. Um, so since I can remember, I know I knew that I've always wanted this car. Like I've this has been my my dream car like since I can remember. And at that time it was a 350Z, and I don't know what I just like love the look of the car, and I knew I had to have it one day. Um, so then when they came out the 370Z, I knew. That's the car I wanted and knew I had to have it. Um, and yeah, so I graduated tech school in August last year, almost a year ago, which is crazy because time flies. But I knew from tech school I was going to get this car, like nothing was going to tell me no. So I graduated, I went home for three weeks and I knew I wanted to get this car. Um, because I knew I needed a car first of all and I planned to buy it back at home just because I wanted to take my mom with me because uh, she knows more about buying cars and all that so I knew I had to get a car and I, I planned to drive I planned to drive planned to drive from Maryland all the way down to Florida which was a nice ride kinda not really. If you're by yourself and you're on a long road trip, it's kind of hard to like stay focused. I mean, I liked it just because you're by yourself and you're jamming out by yourself. But when you have someone sitting next to you and talking to you, it's a lot easier. But I made it. Um, so the how I got this car, um, I was look at like while I was in tech school, I was looking at uh, 370Z Nismos. I knew I wanted a Nismo either 2010 11 or 12 just because I love how the body looks like I like the way it looks now or back then than the ones they have now so I knew I wanted to get a used it wasn't gonna be new um, 370z Nismo so I knew I wanted a white and it had to be a Nismo or any white honestly it, like if I didn't find a Nismo I was just gonna settle with a base with a base 370z Nismo white but so I was looking and I found one in Virginia which my mom and I were we went to go look it was a 2010 370Z Nismo um, it's not the one I have now so we went to go look at it and the funny thing is I did not know how to drive manual so I told him if I can have someone drive the car for me while I'm in the passenger seat and they looked at me funny but it happened and even just sitting in the passenger seat I knew I loved the car I loved everything about it um, the guy really kind of didn't know how to drive manual but he tried and I mean he took me on a ride but uh, yeah so they weren't trying to come down on the price for that car and like at all like not even a dollar and so my mom and I we just decided to leave uh, we told him we might come back if we're interested if we don't find another one but so we left and like literally like two minutes later he texted me talking about oh we can lower the price um i think he was saying like 1500 or i don't know i think it might have been 500 and i was wanted to come down like at least a g or two and they weren't even trying to do that and the fact that they had to wait until we left sorry i feel like i have some shit on my lip Sorry about that. I don't know why I'm touching my lips, but um, so 
yeah so we left and then the fact that they wanted us to come back to buy the car for $500 less we were like yeah no so I texted him I was like uh, if we don't find anything I will we'll come back and we can talk or whatever so I went to this other dealership where I was looking at a base 370z uh, just base 370z it was a gray one I think it was a 2013 or 14 and it was like a lot newer uh, but it was base model so it wasn't I mean it was still a 370 and I planned to buy it because I, I knew I wasn't going to find another Nismo. So we, uh, same thing with the other dealership, we went on a ride and or someone had to drive the car and I knew I, I wanted the car. So I came back and they weren't trying to drop the price on this car or on the other car either uh, just because it said it was uh, used so they don't really come down on prices but um, I think that one was going for like 24 or something and I didn't want to pay that much for a car so um, we told him we were going to think about it and if we wanted the car we'll come back and we can talk more but we were going to leave and then so as all salesmen do they go and talk to someone probably their manager or pretend like they're going to go talk to someone just so you can discuss it with whoever you're with but he actually went to talk to the manager and the funny thing is he told him that we were looking at a at a white 370z nismo and it so happened that like the day before someone came in to trade the 370z i fucking need water <coughs> but it so happened that someone came it so happened that someone came and traded their 370Z Nismo white the day before and I couldn't believe it so he took like he didn't even know about it and so he took me to the car it was like in the back parking lot and the, the thing is this car has it was not listed for sale at all on like any website no one knew about this car that it just came in so when he told me that I knew I had to have this car like I knew it was meant to be um, so he uh, I didn't drive in this car just because I already knew like how it felt and how it is to be in this car so I called up my friend a really good friend of mine to help me um, with this car and so he came down um, and he drove the car tested it out looked at everything and he said I should really go for it and it's almost five o'clock so I need to get to do my tattoo but um so he came down looked at it he said jump on it like it's a good price blah 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 uh, there's some like scratches here and there so we told him about that and a week later um, I couldn't leave with the car that day just because it hadn't been inspected or any maintenance on it so they had to do all that while uh, in a week so a week later we picked up the car drove it off the lot and, and that's how I got my car and uh, I the funny thing is I learned I taught myself how to drive manual in this car like by myself with a little like YouTube videos just like the basics of how to drive manual and I would li I remember like just being in a parking lot by myself for like three hours just driving in a parking lot like in circles um, and, and like going just going into first stop into first stop into first stop and once I got a hang of it I took it on the uh, in my neighborhood um, driving around my neighborhood and yeah and then that's how I taught myself like if you don't like the way I learn is teaching myself. If I, have, if I have someone trying to teach me and like do this, do that, do this, like I get mad and I cannot learn like that. So I'd rather just do it by myself. I did it by myself. And yeah, I mean, I'm still like, I haven't installed probably like in a month or two. It happens, but I haven't installed in a while. Um, but I'm still kind of slow coming off of first. And yeah. Like after you master first, going into second, third, fourth, fifth, it's smooth. I'm like, well, if you let off the clutch too much, you're gonna jerk, and that's gonna 
not mess up your car but um, eventually it'll start messing up your car but yeah that's the story of how I got this car and I've had some funny moments with this car um, <laughs> remember when I first took it to drive it around my neighborhood um, I was on this hill in my neighborhood it was, I don't even know why I stopped but I think someone's pulling out of a driveway or something and I stopped and I was dead smack on this hill and there's a car behind me and I remember panicking so much I at least thought 10 times like and the car behind me was beeping like cursing me out get out the way and all that so I left it in neutral and luckily there's no cars to the side on the right side so I put it on neutral and I just let it roll back and I just parked the car like I don't know and then I don't know how I got out of that but like eventually I just freaking just gassed it and let the clutch go and I was out but that was one and another one is when I was driving down here um, from Maryland I got stuck in an intersection trying to make a left and then there's cars coming towards me so you have to yield for them coming straight and I don't know why it was even a hill and I stalled at least five times stuck in the middle of this intersection and there the lights turned red and then the car is going this way turned green I just look like a complete dumb butthole but <laughs> oh my god it's I uh, like I love driving this car though it's a lot of fun that's how I got my car um, hope you guys liked the video it was something new I don't know just sitting down and just talking but that's how I got my car um, if you want something go get it like don't let anything stop you I mean there's factors like money and all that but if you're able to get it I think of it as like life's too short to drive just like a regular car like I used to drive a Corolla I love that car I cannot lie but driving this compared to that is a lot more fun and I feel like it's well worth it um, cuz you didn't you never know when you know something might happen and the thing you wished for like can't happen anymore so that's how I look at it um, I still got time to pay this car off but I think yeah I'm enjoy it I don't plan on selling it or trading it in or anything um, unless something happens like I go to freaking Alaska I'm not I'm not gonna want to take this car or at least I'll take it and then during the winter never drive it because this car would be horrible in the snow but now I'm just rambling on this video is gonna be way too long so I'll catch you guys on my next video peace out if you guys don't follow me on social media I have a page just for this car which is underscore dot kev k e v z 34 um, that's where I'm gonna be posting pictures and videos of this car and then I have a personal page which you guys can see in my bio in that page uh, follow me on my social media see you guys whenever peace out stay lit Eagle gang love you guys yeah. Hey. Can't keep my dick in my pants.